আচ্ছা থ্যাংক ইউ আজকের সেমিনার দিচ্ছেন ডক্টর আনোয়ারা বেগম সিনিয়র রিসার্চ ফেলো ওনার আলোচনার বিষয়বস্তু হচ্ছে হেলথ কেয়ার ফর পারসনস উইথ ডিসেবিলিটি ইন দ্য টাইম অফ করোনা তো those who are not uh, bengali speaking i would say that dr anwar begum senior research fellow is presenting her paper on healthcare for persons with disability in the time of corona this is a very important topic and there are many approaches to analyzing this problem quantitative qualitative mixed method i understand she has followed a mixed method approach uh, to it with focus on qualitative methods so for those who want to understand the overall magnitude of disability so we did uh, at bids uh, one research work with dr moinul hawk i did one uh, paper and i just want to highlight one um, of the findings from that uh, from that paper the paper was uh, paper showed that that the according to 2010 his there, there is about 9.6% people are overall disabled population in nationally and we distinguished also between the moderate and severe disabled disability and we found that around 1.5% populations are severely disabled disability was defined in six dimension hearing seeing movement uh, etc and severity is defined like between a uh, blur vision and blindness so for instance a blind person would be categorized as severely disabled as opposed to just having a blur vision which can be rectified through wearing glasses so even 1.6% severe disability is a very high number in a country of 180 million and 9.6% moderate plus severe disability is uh, is very very high number i don't know the current number uh, 2016 his has the similar module and one could estimate moinul and others were interested uh do the same exercise and find out what is the recent trends in that regard but that needs to be done but the importance of this this disability statistics is uh, magnified by the advent of covid the covid crisis has revealed the hidden inequalities in the system in our society between persons with disability and person without disability for instance and dr anwar abegum will talk about that differential experience uh, faced by the persons with disability over to you dr anwar assalam alaikum and good afternoon to you all thank you chair for giving a succinct but extremely relevant um, passage to and and uh, i am grateful to you for that so now i would like to begin the presentation and this presentation is about healthcare for persons with disability in the time of corona the outline comprises of introduction objective background and scope rational methodology literature review secondary data analysis of primary data findings from discussions with stakeholders covid-19 and the problem of women in accessing health care and conclusion thank you
In Bangladesh, disability is about 9.2%, and that approximately translates to around 1.5 crore people. This is a very uh, rough estimate. Uh, the problem with uh, COVID-19 is that it stipulated physical distancing, which was not possible for these people who were suffering from disability. There is a stigma and they have financial and social dependency and moreover they require caregivers, sighted guides and interpreters. They are unaware about asymptomatic spread and COVID-19 dangers and among disabled people, the greatest problems are suffered by women because of various reasons which I'll come to later on. The objective of this study is to understand the severity of constraints, inequality in access to healthcare of persons with disability during this time. Who are the persons with disability? Persons with disabilities include those who have long-term physical, mental, intellectual or sensory impairments, which in interaction with various barriers may hinder their full and effective participation in society on an equal basis with others. And that is the crux of the whole thing, on an equal footing. So here we have a snapshot of male and female and rural and urban uh, persons who are suffering from disability. The predicament of persons with disability is twofold. The first is that the labor market is almost inaccessible for them because sharp barriers to getting basic essential services prevail. They have innate helplessness. They have inability to access education and information and routine restrictions they have to face. Begum and Mahmood found that Bangladesh is a country besieged with large out-of-pocket payments for health care. This augurs badly for patients suffering a disability. So the imperative now is to reduce the income erosion effect of illness through a pro-poor health system. The methodology of my study was mostly qualitative as uh, Dr. Binayak Sen informed you, but I have also tried to get some information uh, through uh, the Google form. Information was solicited from an initial list of NGO members. Their views were taken through telephone and computer. The respondents were chosen randomly from listed beneficiaries of DRRA who give service to persons with disability. 15 healthcare providers were randomly chosen from a population of 70. The interviews were of qualitative nature and sample sizes were determined based on the time and perception of the researcher. The experience of COVID-19 and healthcare was sought from 15 respondents who were stakeholders, that is, they were health providers who gave services and 50 respondents who are suffering from disability through qualitative methods comprising of in-depth interviews. Views of hospital heads and senior staff nurses from leading hospitals were taken. Also NGO executives, caregivers opinion, etc. Interviews of assistant director coordinators, etc. was done and the interviews were quite lengthy. The respondents, that is the persons with disability, were quite poor and living in remote areas of Bagirhat, Borgona and Shatkira of Bangladesh. Some respondents were also from affluent families and suffering from a disability. But since this was done randomly, uh, some of the respondents, uh, it was a cross section of respondents. It comprised of men, women and children with disability who have been involuntarily missing or camouflaged. Like Brack says, they, are, uh, they were, they were uh, not, not seen, unidentified, due to vulnerability. Uh, 
experiencing greater hardships during a crisis like the corona pandemic. Like I told you, the form of conscriptions that prevailed while women sought medical care during COVID-19 was an important point in my research. Here, I'm going to give you a, and the essence of my literature review. Out of a total of nearly 40 documents, I have selected 12 to give you the main trend, the, the, uh, the hypotheses or the findings of these uh, researches. We see that Gerald Sheepers, Wim Van Binsbergen, Mabu Ganje, and Begum, they have delineated that the role of structural functionalist approach actually dictates structural barriers that could exacerbate coping mechanisms and usurp individual rights. It also delineates women's coping mechanisms to the structural problems, and they are unable to operate as effective citizens. Mehrotra and Solditak say that the structural milieu of unfairness and repression prevailing not in favor of persons with disabilities should actually be considered in a, on a wider canvas so that we are able to also address the policies that impinge upon the people with disability. Shah Jahan speaks about women suffering from disabilities and the stigma that they have to suffer, the inimical milieu that they have to experience. WDDF have said that the def definition of rights, the type of protect protection that they are entitled to, the type of disability that prevail in Bangladesh, the manner of mobilization through establishment of com committees at the community level is an imperative. And moreover, the greater importance should be given to legal arrangement for these persons. Next, we have Begum talking about the culturally secluded environment. Women's position is subservient to men as they are financially dependent. In this situation, the challenges intensified affecting their survival. Mizan talks about the Disability Welfare Act, which was not very effective. And he also speaks about the Disability Det Detection Survey. Persons with Disabilities Act, Disability Act 2013, that is the RPPD Act, replaced the 2001 Act. And he, say, he says that the RPPD Act, supplemented by the rights and protection of the persons with disabilities rules 2015, is the key instrument in ensuring disability rights in Bangladesh. Then we come to Population Council, which has recently documented a large survey with evidence showing that there is an increase over time in the number of girls who were who reported child marriage in their communities during COVID-19. And this was a period when girls with disability were missing, obscure, and not taken into cognizance. Candace Swami says that when public health disaster is juxtaposed with a constitutional crisis, as in Sri Lanka, the logical consequences could be a doubling of the chaos for persons suffering with disability. Banu says that the absence of any authoritative policy for persons with disabilities during COVID-19 actually has been a universal lack of knowledge and apathy regarding persons with disability, which must be corrected. And Nair says that people living with visual impairments in India in an urban low-income community found their lives upside down. The manner in which their carefully ordered everyday lives have changed. OECD speaks about the constraints on schools and required education systems to make difficult choices, but this opportunity was hardly explored in the case of students with disability. And the innovation to inclusion speaks about the opinion of persons with disabilities. Persons with disabilities were retrenched ahead of others 
and their jobs were cut ahead of others because they needed to use their hands for support and probability of contamination was con considered to be higher in their case. HIES 2016 speaks about the definition and here we see that the Washington Group definition on disability statistics says that disability poses at least one severe difficulty or constraint in performing basic universal activities such as walking, seeing, hearing, cognition, self-care and communication. Bangladesh in 2016 included the Washington Group designed disability questions in the 16 household income expenditure survey to identify people with disabilities. Here we have some uh, statistics which give us an idea about the uh, dis disabled people in Bangladesh, but this, uh, this was based on, on a, a sample survey of around 1,65. Sorry to interrupt. Just to uh, point out the last slides, can you go back? Or yes. 6.8 percent. So I was quoting 2010 figure of overall percent. So you can see that I presumably the definition is the same as Manul. You you can correct me. At least one disability, 6.8 percent. Ours was 9.6%. So disability incidence must have declined between 2010 and 2016. So that's an important sort of observation. Thank you. The health system of Bangladesh. Sorry, sorry yes. to interrupt. After initial slide, 6.8%. The source is BBS. <laughs> the source is the first one is BBS. Now the thing is, if the number of respond, if it is a total head count, HIS is not a total head count. No, no, no. I'm sorry. No, no, no. no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Let me ask. That 9.2 is. Very close to 9.6 that yeah. I have been talking about. It, is, it must have come from 2010. Yes. Now, what I want to say is the presentation, the first slide is 9.2, it is 6.8. Yes. Consist, mean, what I want to say is that it is not a good thing. That was BBS. Yes. 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 Percentage ta basically depend kore kum dhoron er question er amra use korchi shete ru pore. Jamon H I E S 2010 e ki dhoron er question use kora hoye silo. Chhota category but ha. And chhota category disability mudhe abar uta uta ke severe moderate ei bhakta o kora shombo. I'm a shudhu bolboje. She aki aki instrument kid the Duhaja Sholo to use Kora HHS module. Duhaja Sholo Duhaja Doshaji disability module for the first time introduced in HIS. It was done by the Washington group. I mean, Tokum Chilam Washington. So we we shamanta the we disability module that are a Bangladesh protom execute Kore. Duhaja Sholo the same module has been retained. এখানে একটা টেবিল দেখতে পাচ্ছি যেটা এইচএস থেকে নেওয়া হ্যাঁ সেটা সেটা মানে যদি আপনি ইন্টার টেম্পোরালি কম্পেয়ার করেন তাহলে একটা চেঞ্জ দেখতে পাবেন কিন্তু অ্যানালাইসিসটা হয়তো আর ফুলার অ্যানালাইসিস কোয়ান্টিটেটিভ যারা করেন তারা হয়তো করতে চাইতে পারে না না উই আর नॉट টেকিং লেটার ফিনিশ আই উড লাইক টু থ্যাঙ্ক एवरीवन ফর देयर ইনপুট and uh, like I said, that uh, uh, source, source the, my first slide was uh, from the BBS, and uh, this slide uh, was from HIES, which actually looked at 1,65,000 respondents. The health system of Bangladesh is affected by a poor skill mix. Instead of the ideal WHO recommended ratio of one is to three is to five, we see that the situation is convoluted. 
absolutely upside down. It is one is to 0.4 nurses, one doctor to 0.4 nurses to 0.24 technicians. So Bangladesh has a staggering shortage of healthcare providers and the numbers are here. More importantly, there are less than 0.4 nurse per thousand population being one of the most deprived in the world. Inadequate supply of qualified, experienced and specialized nursing professionals who are the ultimate resource for promoting health, preventing diseases and curing sickness is so important. But unfortunately, enrollment into nursing course is low in Bangladesh. Whether diploma or degree holders, nurses often fail to search out jobs in the nursing profession. So there is an imperative to improve the quality of training, promote practical knowledge, management, coordination, behavior of nurses, and management of patients with disability, especially in the case of healthcare providers and in particular, the nurses. So they, there are points given over here, which you can read out from your handout. So I'll go ahead. The daily encounters, this is from the qualitative survey that I conducted. Daily encounters with escalating levels of barriers during the time of Corona they were referred to special hospitals. They were unable to communicate coherently and they were constrained by problems of finances. So an enabling environment is absolutely imperative. Their mobility voice decision-making was very difficult, especially for women. Health expenses prevent, presented a big problem for them during this disaster. The social stigma, financial and social dependency, all actually militated and presented challenges to the people who were suffering with disability. And here we see the role of nursing, especially in nursing. In nursing, there was an absolute call for better tertiary healthcare in primate cities, as well as in all parts of Bangladesh. And there was absence of training and awareness among nurses, especially on the needs of these vulnerable people who are physically impaired. And this was a great challenge for them. And most important, many service providers, that is the hospital heads, as well as the, the senior doctors and nurses were unaware about persons with disability who was seeking medical assistance in their hospitals, or even if medical assistance could be given to them. To the question on does lack of education and income, not being rich, make patients with disability more vulnerable? It, is, it emerges that 94.6% said yes, it makes us more vulnerable. To the question on do you think that disabled patients faced more challenges compared to physically and mentally able patients? The answer from the stakeholders, that is the hospital heads and nurses, 80% said yes. Do you have specially trained doctors and nurses who are able to handle disabled persons? Heads of hospitals, nurses, supervisors said no, 80% said no, we do not have trained doctors and nurses. Has corona infection aggravated the problems of disabled patients? 86.7% said yes, it has aggravated. Now I would like to present to you the real voices of people. They are people who suffer like all others. So that is why I brought forth this. There is, this is a pseudonym, Morjina. She was very depressed and helpless. And she said that when she had come to Dhaka to get her eye checked, the doctor was extremely rude. And when they got 
infected by corona in their village, her husband got some medical treatment for himself. But for them, there was no way out. They said, we may die, no problem. But we, we will not go to the pharmacy to get medicine because we do not want to be mistreated or abused. A teenager said, on account of lockdown, I had to be accompanied and taken in an ambulance. Cost was very high, especially for people who have per pinched purse strings. Parent of a nine-year-old said that except corona, no illness is considered important. And his son has cerebral palsy. 60-year-old said that I'm scared to express my problem. I cannot understand how to get service that is less costly. Down syndrome. They could not get treatment for him because all transport service was disrupted during this period. Single mother of an autistic girl in Dhaka says, my daughter is suffering quietly and internally. This corona has undone all the gains she had acquired academically, physically, and mentally. Those who suffer from multiple disabilities and who contracted coronavirus could not get good treatment for their illness. They said we could not get good treatment. Getting sick with corona is a big problem due to lack of communication. And this is from remote Dakope. I got infected with corona, says Mrs. Sony, a housewife in Dhaka, and the treatment was so expensive. I could not do tests as doctors recommend their lab for tests. Hospitals and doctors are not disabled friendly. Female NGO says, I have one prosthetic eye and the other has low vision and it keeps on aching. I'm in great difficulty trying to get health service for my eye ache. No service is possible during pandemic and lockdown. Unanimously, hospital heads, senior nurses, coordinators said that health care is costly for most patients, but prohibitive for those who are poor. The majority affirmed that disabled do not access our health services, while two persons among the hospital heads said that maybe they do access, but they are not sure. There is a dearth of nurses and doctors capable of managing such people, and they acknowledged it. Problem is not having professional medical personnel who can handle patients with disability, even in district hospitals. A point to note here is that all acknowledged that they did not possess the capab capability to handle persons with disability. They are referred to other hospitals. But at the same breath, they said that we give good service in our hospitals. So actually, it was a way out for them to, uh, you know, to get out of this situation when we are inquiring whether they have uh, specially trained doctors and nurses. Nurses, on the other hand, accepted that their syllabus and training was not designed for supervising patients with disability. They identified four wide learning skills. They are emergency management, infectious disease management and treatment, chronic systemic disease treatment and geriatric care. The extra importance should be accorded to those patients who have need of the maximum skill and care. Patients with disability, definitely you will agree, are among the most vulnerable who require care. There is a lack of awareness about public health facts among people suffering from disability and who had corona. The instance of widespread COVID-19 left women, especially those who are disabled, in a very dire situation. They were rarely inducted into decision making, so the onus was on them to fend for themselves. Women on account of their reproductive functions have to take special personal care. But when their caregivers are absent, this problem becomes insurmountable. Therapists and specialized caregivers are trained in therapeutic workout. But during the time of corona, women were unable to perform these exercises and use assistive device in the absence 
of the uh, caregivers and vital part of their regular health care remained unattended as they are habitually reliant upon caregivers. Wheel those who use wheelchairs, using a hand basin for them on an elevated level might prove almost impossible, which is so easy for us. But persons with disability could be incapable of scrubbing both hands simultaneously to maintain cleanliness, which is an absolute necessity during times of corona. Those who have impaired eyesight will often understand the surrounding by touching objects to obtain information or for physical support. During this time of corona, it was very difficult for them. And as a result, most of them were retrenched. Extreme problems were faced by two thirds as reported by females with disability. In conclusion, I would like to place the following points, five points to you, especially those having cerebral palsy and Down syndrome. They are completely dependent upon caregivers and have found it difficult to maintain COVID-19 precautions, such as maintenance of social distancing, as well as girls have suffered, and especially girls with autism have suffered greatly during this time of corona. So as I said earlier, wheelchair occupants cannot reach basins and deaf persons are unable to lip read due to the donning of masks. They are referred to specific hospitals, so there is an imperative need to increase efforts through targeted allocation of resources, such as training more doctors and nurses. Specially designed wash basins for those in wheelchairs could be set up. Free masks could be provided and sanitizers could be given to these marginalized people. And it's uh, a blessing that we have now come to a lowering of the incidence of corona. It is a real blessing, especially for them who have remained camouflaged through this whole period. Special training should be given to administrators, caregivers, and ease of access to service for persons with disability should be prioritized. Nursing has been disparaged due to culture, religion, and other socioeconomic factors. Persons afflicted, afflicted with disability often face the discouraging consequences of low standard service because they are not able to put forth their own personality to get the service. So there is a need to sensitize people to value nursing. The greatest challenge of COVID-19 inimically presented itself to these persons who are heavily dependent upon caregivers for their existence. And the threats lie in the fact that awareness of asymptomatic increase is hardly known among these persons with disabilities. Although highly contagious, knowledge about, about this disease and related consciousness has increased somewhat due to its life-threatening nature, but service for persons with disability is still not forthcoming. So there is an absolute need to promote human rights of people with disability as stipulated by the CRPD. And with that, I come to the end of my presentation. I thank you for a patient hearing. Thank you, Anwara, uh, for your nice presentation. Um, we have we have several uh, 15 participants online, and I want to recognize, I think, Riaz uh, from UK, Sharifa Begum, our former BAS colleague, uh, and also from Financial Express, uh, Nazmir Sakik. And also, I think Tausia uh, Tazmim. So, the question posed by the 
speaker is is very difficult and intractable question in some ways, given our systemic inequities in the health system. We were worried from the beginning that <clears throat> that uh, that the non-COVID healthcare aspects would be neglected or might be neglected during the COVID time because of the emphasis we need to give for COVID care. But in this, in the middle of that discourse between COVID and non-COVID healthcare, the persons, the special needs for the persons with disability got sidelined. And I think her presentation uh, brought this aspect very starkly that uh, there are people with special needs and even during the special times, they have extraordinary needs and that needs to be recognized first and foremost and it cannot be addressed by just providing disability allowance and, and benefits from the fiscal system. Uh, there has to be special initiatives, whether in the form of setting up a dedicated hospital or healthcare institutions for persons with disability, or specially creating a window in every corporate healthcare center for providing special services to persons with disability. So with these words, I open the floor for any comments, criticism or discussion, both online and offline. Those who are offline can uh, can raise their hand, and I will I will bring to you to the discussion. Please introduce yourself oh, and then. <laughs> <laughs> um, Disability statistics. You know, why Bolchil and J. is very sort of a Bolchil with the Shikane, same definition by her good at our one point less than two to percent. ACS ten percent plus student percent still economic to come here. She about there are disability in a cascore NGOs working with disability. They claim that disability disabled population is about sixteen percent. This depends on definition and actually, unfortunately, we do not have any dedicated disability survey in the country as of now. And uh, identification of disabled persons, it is, it is uh, not that easy and it, in, I mean, it actually requires involvement of medical professional as well, if we'd like to do it properly. So for example, we, uh, those who are physically impaired, we can clearly understand and identify those who are vision impaired, severe vision, severely vision impaired. We can identify, but mild vision impairment, mild hearing impairment, and uh, uh, let alone the mental uh, problem. So that is why this this uh, problem is there in respect of identifying the disabled population in the country. So uh, my main point is not uh, to that extent. In your sample you have interviewed persons with disabilities. So have you, in your sample, have you uh, spoken to these severely impaired people or all kind of impaired people? Because the, the, the yeah, response that you have got, they experienced, um, they, they, they shared those things from their own experiences. So one thing about, I mean, who you have spoken to, uh, if you can just, uh, I mean, uh, try and give us an idea of the, find kind of respondents, particularly with disability, you have spoken to. Second is, I, uh, I'm i not quite sure whether you said that, I mean, uh, healthcare services for the persons who are during corona. You have talked about quite a few things, but those are equally applicable for for other, other group of people during corona. So we have seen in the newspapers, we have seen in the several, um, uh, um, uh, studies as well that I mean, people are actually facing additional difficulty during corona in order to having access to the healthcare services. These and that they are denied and etc. But to what extent? I mean, the problem for the persons with disabilities is actually I mean um, uh, 
uh, found in corona and if some kind of uh, experiences from them that because of the disability they are treated differently they are denied of uh, uh, providing services to them or they are not being able to go to the healthcare etc some of the stuffs like basin stairs these are these are always there before corona during corona etc but i mean uh, it would be really good to know about the additionality and the additional constraint additional uh, difficulty that they have faced during corona so uh, i might come back again later but this is what i want to say now डेफिनेशन अनुजाई वाशिंगटन ग्रुप शर्ट कोश्चिन फर एक्साम्पल सोशल डिजेबिलिटी मिसिंग कोश्चिने Uh, at the same time, there are types of disability. I mean, even physical disability, because basically invisible physical disability is there. Jeta specialized ke uchara kono identify hi korte parbe na. So, oi karon e ashle variation ta hai. Uh, at the same time, jara survey korte, ta their skills uh, just Washington group questionnaire ta dekhe ekra kom kora. আর অ্যাকচুয়ালি ডিসএবিলিটি আইডেন্টি অ্যাসেসমেন্ট করতে জানা এর মধ্যে অনেকটা পার্থক্য হবে 16% যেটা ইয়া না কিন্তু WHO ই কিন্তু বেশ কিছু কান্ট্রিতে মোটামুটি সার্ভে করে দেখেছে যে 15 টু 15% এর মত পার্টিকুলারলি ডেভেলপিং কান্ট্রি ইজ দ্য সার্টেনলি ওই কারণেই আসলে কোন একটা সার্ভেতে যদি কম আসে কোনটা চে আমরা আমরা জাস্ট ইয়েতে যেন না যাই যে ডিক্লাইন হয়ে গেছে বিকজ it very much depends on the survey and the uh, people who have conducted the survey uh, are ki dhorone definition ebong ki dhorone tools chilo sheter upore amar emni question ei study er upore first of all onek dhonnobad anar apake onek besh kichu jinish ni aschen amar shudhu ekta ye hocche je eta apnader sujog chilo ki na karon jara personal disabilities tader ek dhorone jemon general health care jemon dorkar at the same time specialized healthcare ro dorkar apni kichu ta touch korechen oi ta koto ta jemon amari for example amari ek colleague ami jani who is having a who is a teacher in a primary school government primary school kintu she ei shomoy tar regular physiotherapy lage in order to be active in his work তো এই সময় কিন্তু একটা হচ্ছে যে জেনারেল হেলথ কেয়ারের ইয়ে ছিল কোভিড পিরিয়ডে কোভিড রিলেটেড সাপোর্টের একটা ইয়ে ছিল অ্যাট দ্য সেম টাইম লকডাউনের ফলে বা ওই সার্ভিসগুলো যে বেশিরভাগ সার্ভিস সেন্টার শুধু আমি গভর্নমেন্টকে ব্লেম করব না এনজিও এবং প্রাইভেট সেক্টর প্রোভাইডেড স্পেশালাইজড হেলথ কেয়ারগুলো ম্যাক্সিমাম ক্ষেত্রে বন্ধ ছিল ওই সময়টা ওই জায়গাগুলোতে কতটা ইয়ে আসছে এবং আমার আগের বক্তার সঙ্গে সেটা হচ্ছে যে सैम्पल स kind of uh, stakeholders you have interviewed how many stakeholders how many visible persons from dhaka and outside dhaka tale to suvidha hobe kotha gulo prashno asche because of the misunderstanding or trying to understand your scope of the work sampur <laughs> thank you so much for the questions uh, dr zulfikar asked me uh, with whom i had uh, spoken regarding this uh, provision of healthcare and 
especially those who are suffering from cerebral palsy, Down syndrome. These are, um, these are respondents who cannot respond on their own. Their parents or their guardians spoke on their behalf. So, and the Corona service for disabled, I have, uh, uh, in all my voices, uh, all the respondents who have uh, sought service during the time of Corona have spoken about the level of service that they have got. And even the graphs have shown that I have shown highlight from the stakeholders' point of view, that is the hospital heads, that it is extremely difficult for persons with disability to get service and more prohibitive during corona, not only on account of their disability, not only on account of the fact that hospitals are not equipped to handle disabled people, but also because of the financial problems that the, these people uh, face. Because the head of nurses in Evercare Hospital when I asked her, she said that, to my knowledge, no disabled person has come to Apollo Hospital for treatment. Then I probed further to ask that, why don't you ask the registrar or just look at the patient list over the years and let me know. So she said, later on, she told me that it is 0.01%. That, that is the percentage she gave me. And it, it usually transpires that the, the, the thing is, she did not know of any person who was suffering from disability and came to Apollo or Evercare for treatment. So that shows us that even in Anwar Khan Medical, in specialized hospital, everyone said that we do not handle patients with disability. Most of the patients are referred to Shishu Hospital, where they have special nurses to be handling these uh, disabled persons. Even neuros, ne Neuroscience Hospital says that we do not keep them. Only if they are suffering from severe brain damage, then we keep them for the period when we can do the operation and then send them off to a hospital which is capable of handling disabled people. So I hope uh, that answers your question. Now, basins have become wash basins uh, for people in wheelchair, uh, washing of hands, scrubbing hard, has all become important now with corona. A nurse was telling me that recently Amra Thailand theke training ni eschi. Amader ke jaa shikye chhe bola chhe shudhu haat dhutei thako. Shudhu haat dhu and amra haat dhuar ta pujun to chini na jani na kya mon kore dhuay. Amra shobai normal people we don't wash our hands correctly. So for people who are suffering from disability, it is onerous for them to learn how to do this. Many of them are do not have the muscles to be able to scrub their hands. You see, and that is where the um, people with palsy have the problem. They cannot use their muscle. Okay. Now, Rifat, uh, Madam Rifat, Apni Bolin, Mrs. Khan, that um, it has not really declined. Huh? This only data will tell and only definition, who, whoever is collecting, BBS is collecting large scale data, they will be able to tell us. Because I looked at uh, Department of Social Service data and they gave a, a, a number of 1.19% disabled. And you will become surprised because I, I found it extremely unacceptable. So when I looked through that document, I found that the methodology was faulty. They needed the disabled persons to come there and register. So you, um, you can understand. Now, qualitative, how do I... Um, how do I um, say that uh, the disabled persons 
or persons with disability, sorry, you cannot say disabled persons because no one is disabled, in fact. Someone suffers from disability. So persons with disability, how, how can I say that they suffered more? So I got their voices to tell me whether they suffered more or not. And I also got the hospital heads and nurses to tell me whether they suffered more or not. So thank you very much. My uh, qualitative in-depth interview was done on 56 respondents. I wrote 50 only because I thought that uh, six were not, meaning I was not very sure about those uh, interviews. So I said 50. But in fact, I did 56 uh, qualitative in-depth interviews of persons suffering from disability from remote areas of Shatkira, Bagirhat, and Borgona. And this was done through telephone because they cannot use the computer. But I, the stakeholders interview, which was 15 out of 70 known, uh, because I was doing the survey on uh, skills gap of nurses, where I looked at um, uh, 180 uh, nurses practically, so and many hospitals. So I had I had a list of 70 providers. From there, I took 15 only because I sent the form to all of them. 15 responded. The hospital heads. Not hospital, but the respondents. No. Persons with disability were from Borguna, uh, Shatkira, um, and uh, those who uh, uh, were from the hospitals. They were from Dhaka, Chittagong, Rajshahi. But your 50 case studies are from Borguna and Shatkira. Borguna, Shatkira, yes, as well as uh, remote Dhakopi. As well as Dhaka, I said in the beginning. Uh, during uh, the analysis of, in, in the slide that I showed you, analysis of primary data, I said that I also interviewed people in Dhaka city. Yeah. So, so, a table pre presenting the spread of 50 respondents by Dako, Borguna, and Shatkira would be very useful for us to understand because they are remotely lo located and the healthcare services are likely to be much less available in those areas. So it's, it's something, and also in Dhaka you have, you have done. So it's a bit of a, a necessary sort of information for your qualitative analysis. Anyway, so are there any takers? I, I guess Yunus had some point and Mainul I will request also to chip in. मिसलिडिंग তাদেরকে জিজ্ঞেস করতেন হ্যাঁ আগে কি ছিল যদি অতটুকুই করতেন বিফোর করোনা প্যান্ডেমিক এন্ড নাও তখন অন্যরা যেটা বললেন যে তখন বুঝে যেত এট দা মার্জিন কি হচ্ছে সিচুয়েশনটা কি করোনা থেকে খারাপ অবস্থায় পৌঁছলো নাকি তারাই শুধু যদি তাদের সাথে গিয়ে করিলে ফরগেট अबाउट দা পিপল উইদাউট এনি ডিজেবিলিটি দোজ ডিজেবল পিপল ইউ ইন্টারভিউড ইফ ইউ আস্ক देम व्हाट वाज দা সিচুয়েশন বিফোর has it aggravated to what extent question number 1 arekta jinish ami asha korechilam je crpd er age kintu bangladesh e disability welfare act korechilo 2001 e 2013 e eshe rights for persons rights and protection of persons with disability act jeta koreche jeta 2001 er act ke repeal koreche shekhan onek guli clause ache সেখানে যদি আপনি হ্যান্ডেলটা যদি ওখান থেকে আনতেন যে দিস আর দা রাইটস অ্যান্ড প্রিভিলিজেস দ্যাট হ্যাজ বিন এন শ্রাইন্ড ইন দ্যাট অ্যাক্ট অ্যান্ড দিস আর গ্রসলি ভায়োলেটেড তাইলে আপনার স্টোরিটা কত কমপ্লিট সেটা 
যেটা আমি আশা করেছিলাম যে এই জিনিসটা পাবো আর ওয়াশিংটন বেসড গ্রুপের যেটা অন্যরা বললেন আমিও দেখেছিলাম আমি একটা কাজের প্রেক্ষিতে বিবিএস এর এদিন শুনলাম যে কাজী ইকবাল থাকলে ভালো তো এল এফ এসও আছে ওই প্রশ্নগুলি আমি দেখেছি এস বি আর এস টু সেটার বায়াসটা সিস্টেমেটিক এর ভিতরে কিন্তু বিটুইন রাউন্ডের কোনো চেঞ্জ নাই ইভেন এস বি আর এস এবং এইচ আই এস এর কোয়েশ্চেনের মধ্যে কোনো ইয়ে নাই যে ছয়টা হ্যান্ডেল দিয়ে করছে ওয়াশিংটন গ্রুপের সেই ছয়টা হ্যান্ডেলকে চেঞ্জ করে নি সুতরাং সে বায়াসটা থাকলে সেটা সিস্টেমেটিক বিনায়ক দা যেটা বললেন হয়তো মেবি এটা স্যাম্পলিং এরর নয় যে ইট ইজ অন দ্য ডিক্লাইন আই ডোন্ট নো হোয়াই সেটা কোন ফ্রন্টে হচ্ছে ছয়টা হ্যান্ডেলের কোনটাতে সেই জিনিসটা আমি অনেকগুলি পয়েন্ট এনেছেন আপনি আমি কে দেখলাম কখনো উইম্যানের ইস্যু এসছে কখনো ডিজেবিলিটি কখনো করোনা সো আমি বুঝতেছি না যে যে কনক্লুশনটা লাস্টলি কনক্লুশনটা কি আপনার ইজ ইট করোনা ইজ ইট উইম্যান ইজ ইট ডিজেবল কোনটা এই প্রেজেন্টেশনের মধ্যে আই ওয়াজ লস থ্যাংক ইউ আই থিঙ্ক এটা একটা টাইমলি ইস্যু ইম্পর্টেন্ট ইস্যু আর অলরেডি বেশ কিছু জায়গায় আলোকপাত করা হয়েছে সো খুব বেশি কিছু বলার মনে সুযোগ নাই কিন্তু মানে আমার কাছে মনে হয়েছে যে সেটা এইচ আই এস এর যে ডেটাটা প্রেজেন্ট করা হয়েছে এটা তো একটা ন্যাশনালি রিপ্রেজেন্টেটিভ ডেটা আর বিনায়কদা যেটা বললেন যে টোয়েন্টি টেন এন্ড টোয়েন্টি সিক্সটিন দুইটা রাউন্ডে আছে তো সেই ডেটায় যদি দেখায় যে ডিজেবিলিটি কমে গেছে তো আমাদেরকে তো সেটা নিতেই হবে কারণ দ্য ওয়ে কোয়েশ্চেনটা করা হয় সেখানে কারো যদি একটু হিয়ারিং প্রবলেম থাকে বা ভিশনের প্রবলেম থাকে যেমন আমি আমাকে গ্লাস ইউজ করতে হয় তো সেই ডেফিনেশন অনুযায়ী আমিও ডিজেবল কিন্তু আই এম এ পার্সোনাল ডিজেবিলিটি এবং যারা আছেন তারাও বাট যদি এটাকে আর একটু ক্লাসিফাই করে যেটা বিনায়কদা শুরুতে শুরু করেছিলেন যে মডারেট ডিজেবিলিটি সিভিয়ার ডিজেবিলিটি সেই ক্লাসিফিকেশন হলে তখন হয়তো আমরা চেঞ্জটা আরও বেটার বুঝতে পারবো ট্রেনটা আর এখানে যে সাপ্লাই সেটটা দেখা হয়েছে হেলথ হেলথ কেয়ার ফ্যাসিলিটিস সেগুলো যদি মোস্টলি ঢাকায় হয় আর ডিজেবিলিটি যারা পার্সোন উইথ ডিজেবিলিটি তারা লোকেটেড যেটা এখানে লিখা হয়েছে যে সাতক্ষীরা বাঘেরাট আর বরগুনাতে তিনটা ডিস্ট্রিক্টে তো আমি যদি ওই এলাকার হেলথ কেয়ার ফ্যাসিলিটিগুলোকে দেখতাম তাহলে এখানে একটা বেটার ম্যাপিং হতো এবং কোনো হসপিটালে ইন জেনারেল ডিজাবিলিটি আলাদা করে ডিজাবিলিটি সেন্টার বা হেলথ কেয়ার ফ্যাসিলিটি বা হেলথ কেয়ার আই মিন স্মল কর্নার ফর পার্সন উইথ ডিজাবিলিটি সেরকম থাকে না আমি আমার যতটুকু দেখেছি যে মেবি অটিস্টিক বাচ্চাদের জন্য কিছু কিছু সার্ভিস থাকে আপনি যে শিশু হাসপাতালে কথা বলেছেন সেরকম তো এখানে ওই ইউজুয়ালি যদি কারো কোনো ডিজাবিলিটি থাকে সেটা যদি সিভিয়ার মাত্রারও হয় তারা কিন্তু একজন স্বাভাবিক মানুষ যেসব ডক্টরের কাছে বা প্রোভাইডারের কাছে যায় তারাও তার কাছে যায় চোখের যদি খুব খারাপ সমস্যা থাকে সেও যে সেও যে ডক্টরের কাছে যাবে সেম সেম টাইপের ডক্টর তো এখানে একটু ডিফারেন্সিয়েট করাটা একটু ডিফিকাল্ট আমার কাছে মনে হয়েছে যে যেই সাতান্ন জনকে বা ফিফটি পার্সনকে আপনি মানে এখানে ইন্টারভিউ করা হয়েছে এটা আর একটু সিস্টেমেটিক ওয়েতে প্রেজেন্ট করা যেত যেমন কোন কোন প্রবলেম কোন কোন ডিজেবিলিটি তাদের আছে আমরা দেখেছি যে প্রায় টু পয়েন্ট ফাইভ পার্সেন্টের মতো আছে যারা মোর দেন ওয়ান ডিজেবিলিটি এখন সেটা যদি কগনিজেন্সের ডিজেবিলিটি হয় বা মোবিলিটির ডিজেবিলিটি হয় তখন তাদের সাফারিংসগুলো কীরকম ডিজেবিলিটি ক্লাসিফিকেশন যেহেতু আপনি ছয়টা মানে ওয়াশিংটন গ্রুপের একই ডেফিনেশনের ছয়টা দিক দেখেছেন তাহলে ওই ক্লাসিফিকেশন অনুযায়ী তাদের সাফারিংসগুলো কি তারা কি 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 পাচ্ছে না আর একটু সিস্টেমেটিক ওয়েতে প্রেজেন্ট করা যেত আর একজন যেটা মেনশন করেছেন যে আমরা যদি জানতাম যে আসলে এই পার্সনগুলো মানে এটা আসলে ডিফারেন্সিয়েট করা খুবই ডিফিকাল্ট ম্যাথোডোলজিক্যালি যে এটা কি করোনার ইম্প্যাক্ট নাকি এটা পিওর ডিজেবিলিটি ইম্প্যাক্ট নাকি করোনা ডিজেবিলিটির ইন্টারেক্টিভ ইম্প্যাক্ট কারণ হচ্ছে করোনার সময় কোভিড বাদে বাকি সব কিছুর ট্রিটমেন্টই এফেক্টেড হয়েছে এবং অন্য কোনো প্রবলেম থাকলেও সেখানে প্রোভাইডারদের মেইন ফোকাস ছিল হচ্ছে কোভিড সো অনেক কিছুই এই সময় এফেক্টেড হয়েছে যারা রেগুলার ডায়ালাইসিস করে বা অন্য কোনো ক্রনিক প্রবলেম তারাও তো এফেক্টেড হয়েছে তো হোয়াট ইজ এ স্পেশাল অ্যাবাউট ডিজেবিলিটি আর দুই হচ্ছে এই ডিজেবেল পার্সন যে ফিফটি 
আমাদের কেস এই কেসরা আগে আগে তারা কি কি সার্ভিস পেত লোকাল প্রোভাইডারদের থেকে এখন কোভিড হওয়ার পরে তারা কি কি পাচ্ছে যদি না পেয়ে থাকে সেটা কেন পেল না এটা কি তারা মানে নিজেরাই সেখানে গেল না কোভিড বলে নাকি হসপিটাল মানে তারা গিয়েছে কিন্তু সার্ভিসটা পায়নি তো ওভারঅল মনে আর একটু সিস্টেম্যাটিক ওয়েতে এটা প্রেজেন্ট করা হয়তো একটু সুযোগ ছিল थैंक यू এই রাউন্ডে আমি আরেকটা প্রশ্ন নেব শরীফ বাবা আপনি কি একটু আসবেন অনলাইনে আপনি তো আছেন দেখতে পাচ্ছি শরীফ বাবা আপনি আনমিউট করতে পারেন शिशु विकास केंद्र जो हासपाल तेजिना डॉक्टर प्रेक्षित जिस দেখানো যায় এখনো সেটা হচ্ছে যে ধরুন পারসনস উইথ ডিসএবিলিটিস পারসনস উইদাউট ডিসএবিলিটিস সিমিলার কম্প্যারেবল গ্রুপ হেলথ কেয়ার অ্যাক্সেসের ক্ষেত্রে তাদের মধ্যে সিচুয়েশনটা কি কোন কোন ডাইমেনশনে কতভাবে পারসনস উইথ ডিসএবল ডিসএবিলিটি যারা আছে তারা ডিপ্রাইভড অথবা বঞ্চিত হচ্ছে আর কি এটা একটা আরেকটা হচ্ছে তার সাথে কোভিড তখন নিয়ে আসেন যে কোভিড যখন আসলো তখন সিমিলার গ্রুপ এই হেলথ কেয়ার ক্ষেত্রে যারা উইদাউট ডিসেবিলিটি তারা কোন কোন জায়গায় বঞ্চিত হচ্ছে কতটুকু হচ্ছে আর পারসনস উইথ ডিসেবিলিটি তার চাইতে অতিরিক্ত কত কোন কোন জায়গায় তারা কোভিডের মধ্যে হচ্ছে এই কম্পারিজনটা হলে জিনিসটা আরেকটু পরিষ্কার হয়ে বোঝা যেত আর কিছু এখন প্রেজেন্টার আনোয়ারাকে বলতে দেব রেসপন্স কিন্তু আমি এর পরের বার আসব একটু রাইট হ্যান্ড সাইডে রাইট হ্যান্ড সাইড একেবারে মানে পজিশন অপজিশন বেঞ্চের মধ্যে চুপ করে আছেন ডক্টর মাইনুল বললেন যে এটা যেন মোর সিস্টেম্যাটিকলি প্রেজেন্টেড হতে পারত হ্যাঁ তো আমার কাছে যে সময়টা ছিল আমি খুব কম সময়ের মধ্যে কাজটা করেছি তো সিস্টেম্যাটিকলি প্রেজেন্ট করা বা এটা জুলফিকারের ক্ষেত্র খাটে যে আমার যে সময়টা ছিল উইদ ইন আই ডিড দিস উইদ ইন থ্রি মান্থস হ্যাঁ তখন আমার পক্ষে when i was focusing more on health care for persons with disability and tau qualitative so i focused more on uh, getting clarifying the information that i am getting from them and trying to understand what is the what is the status of real status background and then just just focusing targeting in on the problems that these persons with disability faced during corona so 
opening the canvas up was not uh, was not an option for me at that time, given the uh, time period. Okay. Now, what I would like to say is that I have also interviewed um, Mr. Noman of uh, uh, CDD, and he is a leading expert. He told me that during they have ab um, about uh, 10,000 members. During Corona, most of his members had uh, had become um, invisible. Invisible, they could not be, uh, they were not, you know, uh, communicating with them because of Corona. And in fact, they were also finding it very difficult to find out how many had died. He told me, he said, only, I know about only six persons who have died during this time. So given that situation, he, he gave me an overview of, of the problems that uh, persons with disability face and the problems that the health sector actually um, gives them in the sense that there are no facilities for persons with disability in the primary, even public, private, tertiary, secondary, secondary level hospitals and they have allocated absolutely separate hospitals for persons with disability. They just, uh, people uh, from uh, Crescent Hospital, as well as Anwar Khan Medical Square, um, Popular, uh, Ibn Sina, Bangladesh Medical, they have all told me that we cannot handle persons with disability. Our nurses are not trained that way. Even the nurses from uh, Dhaka Medical and Chitwang Medical, they have also said that we are not in our curriculum. We do not have this. So we try to give service as nurses because nurses are supposed to give service. So we give them service. But when it comes to when it comes to um, handling um, a real um, disabled person, we, we cannot do it. So we leave them to their uh, attendance. They have to wait in queue for a long time, but no one is uh, so concerned about them. So they, I hope uh, like uh, the type of hospitals that I have um, visited as well as taken information from through the Google form, uh, Japan Bangladesh, uh, Japan Bangladesh Friendship Hospital, uh, uh, Popular uh, Crescent Hospital, um, then Addin Specialized Hospital, Impulse, um, Kurmitola Hospital, Dhaka Medical College, Chittagong Medical College, uh, and there are Rajshahi Medical College. I have taken information from the hospital uh, authorities, administrators, as well as from the nurses. Uh, Sharifa, uh, online गवेषणाई आलोचना बड़ चित्र पे मान पूर्णांग चित्र पे मान एल्डार मध्य चाहिए मध्य तरह महिला मान जरा एडल्टेजे आता खाली यांग चाइल्ड कन्सनट्रेट कर ले मन चित्र बोझाना 
আর তিন নাম্বার হলো যে ঢাকার হাসপাতালের চিত্র নিয়ে সারা দেশের কথা বলা সেটাও কতটা আর কি আর করোনার সময় চিকিৎসার অসুবিধা খালি ডিজেবলদের হয়নি অনেকেরই হয়েছে এটা জেনারেল ফেনোমেন কিছুটা আর কি সেটা খালি যে ডাক্তারদের ফোকাসের জন্য তাও না যারা ট্রিটমেন্ট রিসিভার হেলথ কেয়ার রিসিভার তারাও পিছিয়ে ছিলেন কারণ এই সময় হাসপাতালে যাওয়াটা সেফ ছিল নানান কারণ ছিল আর কি যাই হোক তো সেটা অনেকেই সাফার আর ডিজেবল ডিজেবল আসলে তো তারা তো আরো বেশি তারা তো একটু অসুবিধায় পড়বে না তো সেটা তো এটা তো আমরা এমনি বুঝি কিন্তু ঠিক এক্সটেন্ডটা তো মাপা যায় না আর কি তো আমি আরো আরেকটা ধন্যবাদ দিই এর প্রেজেন্টেশনের জন্য আমার এটুকুই বলা আছে ধন্যবাদ ধন্যবাদ তার সুন্দর প্রেজেন্টেশনের জন্য আমার একটা প্রশ্ন ছিল যেহেতু আমার কোয়ালিটিভ অ্যানালাইসিস সম্পর্কে ভাবে ইন্ট্রোডাকশন নেই তো এখানে আপ নাম্বার পেইজে তার প্রথম যে একটা চার্ট দেখতে পাচ্ছি দা ল্যাক অফ এডুকেশন অ্যান্ড ইনকাম নট বিং রিচ মেক পেশেন্টস উইথ ডিসেবিলিটি মোর ভালারেবল তো এই প্রশ্নটার ক্ষেত্রে এই নট বিং রিচ এটা কিভাবে ডিফাইন্ড হয়েছে মানে যখন প্রশ্নটা জিজ্ঞেস করা হয়েছে এটা কি যেমন আমার কাছে যা মানে হয়তো আমাকে গরিব মনে হবে অন্যকে রিচ মনে হবে তো
अनुग्रह रिप्रेजेंटेटिव सारसंक्षेप कर रेजमिन प्रश्न उत्तरे जाना से शेष दिखे करबें शेष पर्यायर दिखे जा रिच I pose the questions. I ask them how much, uh, how, whether they get uh, disability allowance or not. Many of them have said that uh, no, we we uh, we hope you can get us the disability allowance. So, and many of them were extremely poor. And my uh, respondents were not only from Bagherhat, uh, Borguna, and Shatkira. they were also from dhaka and i chose the respondents from a list that was provided to me because it was not possible during uh, the time of corona to go physically uh, to interview so i needed a list a ready made list which came from um, this drr uh, organization and that is why i was uh, uh, focusing on what i had got to be able to Uh, answer the, these questions so uh, most were poor but those who were from uh, dhaka i uh, they said that they are moderately okay but some of them were very poor so it depended on whom i could contact through the phone and it was a random sampling so uh, there was no other alternative okay ami ektu jante achhi ek bojhar jonno nijer रिगार्डिंग Uh, from UNCRPD 
that is uh, disability persons with disabilities include those who have long term physical mental and intellectual or sensory impairments which in interaction with various barriers hinder their effective participation in society so uh, if moinul says that he is disabled i'll say no that your specs are not stopping you from participating in society okay now th that is <laughs> so i think um, uh, you are more than able uh, and your intellectual capacity is very high HIES definition uh, the the definition that is being used by BBS um, if it changes then the numbers will also change i have nothing to add to that okay so uh, rizvi asked me first he asked me something that can know why from why no i answered rizvi's question earlier when i said that i had to follow the list i couldn't make a list of my own and i contacted uh, cdd and drra and that is that was the best that i could do cdd helped me a lot because they could fill out the uh, forms with some of the from some of the respondents as well as from some of the assistant administrators and coordinators so that was a great help so rizvi needs a uh, Uh, we sent the abstract the bengali and the english abstract to um, yesterday yesterday and even today morning we sent you i sent my full paper to to uh, channel i okay so if you want me to read out this uh, this only the part shown ke pe okay acha corona mahamari te sadharon manusher che protibondhi manush মানুষেরা সবচেয়ে ঝুঁকিতে থাকে প্রতিবন্ধী নারী পুরুষ ও শিশুদেরকে একদিকে যেমন প্রায়শ সামাজিক নিন্দা অপবাদ ঘৃণা লজ্জা নিগৃহ অর্থাৎ সামাজিক কুসংস্কারের শিকার হতে হয় অন্যদিকে তেমনি আর্থিক ও সামাজিক ভাবে অন্যদের উপর নির্ভরশীল থাকতে হয় এছাড়া তাদের জন্য সেবা দানকারী সাহায্যকারী পরিচর্যাকারী ও দোভাষীয় প্রয়োজন হয় বিধায় তাদের পক্ষে সামাজিক দূরত্ব মেনে চলা সম্ভব হয় না আর করোনার সময় এই জিনিসটা তাদের কাছে বেশি কঠিন হয়ে দাঁড়ালো যেসব রোগী হুইল চেয়ারে হুইল চেয়ার ব্যবহার করে বা চলাচলের জন্য অন্য কারো সাহায্য নেয় তাদের সেবা ও পরিচর্যার জন্য সম্পদ ও জনবলের পাশাপাশি কাঠামোগত বিন্যাসের বিশেষ করে অপ্রতুল নার্সিং ও পরিচর্যার ক্ষেত্রে এইখানে আমি বলবো যে যতগুলো হসপিটাল ডিস্ট্রিক্ট হসপিটাল বলেন আমার একটা প্রশ্ন ছিল যে ওগুলোতে ডিজেবল ফ্রেন্ডলি কি না মানে এন্ট্রেন্স আছে কি না অনেকেই বলেছে নাই টয়লেটস আছে কি না অনেকেই বলেছে নাই স্যানিটাইজার হ্যান্ড বেসিন ওয়াশ বেসিন এগুলো আছে কি না তো সেবা ও পরিচর্যার জন্য সম্পদ ও জনবলের পাশাপাশি কাঠামোগত বিন্যাসের প্রয়োজন হয় কিন্তু যথাযথ যানবাহন পরিষেবার অভাব বড় শহরগুলোতে বিশে বিশেয়ায়িত ও উন্নত স্বাস্থ্যসেবা ব্যবস্থা অধিক্য আধিক্য অসহায় ও উচ্চ ঝুঁকিতে থাকা রোগীদের বিশেষ প্রয়োজন বিষয়ে সেবিকা বা নার্সের মাধ্যমে সচেতনতা ও প্রশিক্ষণের অভাব ইত্যাদি একত্রে তাদেরকে সমস্যাকে আরো জটিল করে তোলে এই জন্য আমাদের বিশেষভাবে তাদের জন্য কিছু পদক্ষেপ নিতে হবে যাতে আবার যদি কোনো এরকম মহামারী বা দুর্ঘটনা দুর্ব দুর্যোগ হয় তাহলে তাদের কিছুটা আশ্রয় তারা পাবে যাতে আমরা এই পলিসির মধ্যে তাদেরকেও নিয়ে আসি যাতে প্রত্যেকটা হসপিটাল একটা ইউনিট খুলে দেয় এই পার্সনস উইথ ডিসেবিলিটির জন্য আর ওখানে ডাক্তার নার্স বা অন্য যে সেবা দানকারী তারা যেন প্রশিক্ষিত হয় যাদের এদেরকে সেবা দেওয়ার জন্য এই মুহূর্তে আমার জানা মতে প্রত্যেকটা হসপিটালে এটা নাই শুধু হাতে গোনা এক দুটা হসপিটালে এটা আছে 
थैंक यू चारेक्शन कर evidence then she presented actually when she started replying to specific question she recalled some of the aspects of her interviews of her evidence that could be marshal for presenting uh, it much more comprehensively so i hope she does that in the fuller version of the paper and in the next round of presentation for instance she has been giving that how many hospitals has disable person friendly infrastructural access uh, she has given uh, information on the relevance of the spread of uh, health uh, providers uh, in dhaka in in contrast to non non dhaka health providers then within dhaka she provided evidence also that some of the hospitals even do not have any dedicated Uh, disabled friendly health uh, services so there are many many aspects on which she touched in while responding to the question that has not been originally included in her presentation that was my first point but uh, but it can be enriched further i think the discussion itself has pointed out three three sort of broad avenues of future research first of all the measurement of incidence of disability and trends so there is a quite a bit of issue regarding the uh, incidence measurement on what definitions to be followed uh, etc so that is one one block of issues and related to that is to map the trends both spatially and intertemporally and also by category wise of the disabled person by rural urban national by poor non poor for instance one striking finding we found with minul that there is not necessarily a a close correlation between poverty status and moderate disability but there is a strong correlation between severe disability and extreme poverty so this is the kind of or labor force participation rate we did not we find that no disabled persons labor force participation rate is higher than um, than persons with se severe disability but it cannot be said the same thing about moderate disability so there are certain variations in, in that regard so but on trends we sh this is like poverty trends and you know? however you define poverty the incidence will vary it can vary if you if you use the latin american poverty line bangladesh's poverty in 2016 is 52% as opposed to only sort of uh, 24% so i'm saying that it, it depends on what line you are using to measure poverty but in terms of tracking the trends one needs to uh, control for the same definition across time so if this is what has happened between 2010 and 2016 his then we we should conclude something about reasonably about trends so that that's that's the point very much emerging from the discussions third a second building block is the what should be the policies for disabled persons uh in both in terms of transfer policies income transfer policies and in in terms of health and educational policies so this is a big building block and her finding and this is i am not surprised but it is very striking and it needs to be highlighted that only one of the 50 respondents randomly selected in our sample has reported that they have received disability allowance so the disability allowance currently is not uh um, broadly sort of available in the country and it may not be uh effectively also targeted etc so this is an issue this is just for the uh, 
uh, these disability alarms, but there are also uh, policies regarding the health services, speci uh, specifically year to be earmarked for disabled persons. So this is an Im important issue and we, we need to figure out. For instance, I could not understand that why are actually the persons with disability can get a designated specialized treatment in the country. She listed almost all major hospitals in Dhaka and non-Dhaka who do not provide any sort of services to the persons with disabilities specially designated for them, right? Am I understanding? Yes. So this is an important finding that uh, out of the 10, 15 hospital uh, from, uh, I don't want to name the hospitals, but all the major hospitals she has interviewed, they are saying that there is no specially designated section or wing for the persons with disability when it comes to providing healthcare, COVID or non-COVID, or specialized uh, need uh, for them. So this is an important finding, and one needs to prove it further. Why? Why this systematic exclusion of these persons with disability from the healthcare? Similarly, one 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 could. Um, continue on the educational policy and so on and so forth. That has not been the touched by her logically, but that would be touched by any sort of comprehensive review of disability. Now I come to the third and the, that has not been touched by anyone, at least for now, that what do qualitative investigation actually tell us and should tell us? So one thing is that the very specific differential experience of the disabled person, persons with disability, that is not being always heard. And I wish she had provided more sort of flavor of those voices in her presentation, uh, rather than compressing it, uh, because that is important. But I think, and my sort of expectation, not only from her presentation, but on but also from other qualitative presentation, that qualitative investigations are important, not that they cross-check what quantitative researchers have found out, not for that, but also for developing a new theories, new, new, new categories that are not possible by, to, to be developed from a quantitative researcher. So qualitative researcher is not bound by uh, numbers or statistics. She, she or he is free to uh, conceptualize, theorize the being and nothingness of the existence of, uh, of, of the persons with disability and their economic lives and social being and, and political realities. So I think this is what we need now because we need to put the persons with disability on the cognitive map of the policymakers, which is presently missing. Thank you very much all for your participation and we'll continue in that spirit. Thank you, Dr. Anwarat, for your presentation.